Hey guys, it's Di and welcome to the vlog. Another Vlogmas vlog. I'm actually just sitting here at my desk editing the vlogs that you will have just watched this past week. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you are liking Vlogmas. So thanks for joining me today. Uh, today we are going to do a grocery haul, but I thought I would take you on a little mini tour, a little Christmas tour um, through the house, showing you some of those ornaments that I got at Hobby Lobby the other day on the trees. And I thought I would also take you with me to get the groceries, which is something a little different. I don't normally share that part, but I'm going to do grocery pickup. And so I thought I would just bring the camera along. It's Vlogmas. We'll just vlog everything um, to do with the groceries and share what our dinners are going to be for the week. So welcome to the vlog and thanks for joining me. I hope you can tell like by every single vlog and every single entrance in the huge smile on my face. I'm super excited that the holidays are here. I'm super excited to be doing vlogmas and I was just so ready. I was just ready for this time of year and for the house to be filled with trees and I'm a little bit giddy about it. So I have to share that with you guys. But let me um, hit schedule on my video and then I will take you around and show you some of the new ornaments on the trees especially this one here in my office. So over here by the handbag cabinet is my tree I have here in my office and I typically just leave the lights on whenever I'm sitting here but I wanted to share I had had those flowers on this tree and I really didn't like the vibe so I took those off actually put those in the vase love those in the vase that I have in the dining room and then these are the metal snowflake ornaments that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I added those to this tree and I really, really love it. And I just put some kind of like little sticks in there from Michael's and that's what this tree is looking like. So it's a little bit more sparse than the other trees. It's not kind of as full, but I think that that's okay. Um, but I really love these metal ornaments from Hobby Lobby. So those, those are on that tree here in my office. And then here in the dining room, I'm not entirely sure. I know I took pictures, but I don't know if I showed it in a vlog. But I got this changed over to Christmas tablescape and I moved those white flowers that I was talking about. I had originally bought these to kind of stick in a tree and I didn't really love them. So I just added them in this face with these other jingle bell things and all of the stuff that I got and I actually really love how that filled up the vase. And then I changed this around a little bit and put that over here and added some of those ornaments that I got. Especially really love these wood ornaments. I may get some more of those while those are available. These are really pretty with the little pearls and added all of those to this tree. So I'm loving this tree here in the dining room. I feel like it's like a really good accent for this corner. So that is that one. And then not a whole lot changed over on our big tree. I did add a few little ornaments like these ones that said believe. And I think that that might be it um, since the last time I kind of really vlogged anything. But there is that one. So the kids are in here chilling, doing their electronics. Penguin's over there chilling, taking a nap. And I'm getting ready to go pick up the groceries real quick. So even though it's Sunday, we still occasionally get things from Amazon on Sundays. And one of my first, I think this was a Black Friday item that I purchased has already arrived because of course their shipping is super quick. And this is a leopard cardigan. So I'm gonna open this up real quick so you can see what this looks like. And I'm looking forward to wearing this. This is really interesting because it was like vacuum sealed in there. So it's probably gonna puff up a bit after I get it out of the vacuum sealed area. But this is supposed to be one of those like long cardigans and hopefully not too heavy because obviously it doesn't really get very cold down here. But let me show you what this looks like. I'm super excited. So I'm going to be wearing this this week. But it's got the pockets on there and it's like kind of a duster cardigan. So it's long and it looks like it's going to be super comfy. I hope it's not too heavy because it does actually have some weight to it. But um, I will link this down below. I found this on Amazon. It was on sale for Black Friday and it actually already arrived. Let me go try it on in the bathroom real quick and we'll see how comfy it is. Oh my goodness, it is so cozy. It is, a, it is really, really comfortable. So it's actually really soft once you have it on and it's a bit oversized. It's got these really nice pockets. I love it, I love it. I ordered on Black Friday also. Um, it's got these where you can kind of roll them up if you want to. I love this. This is super cute. Um, so I ordered on Black Friday from 
DSW some long boots too from uh, like wide calf boots. And so I am totally gonna wear this. So I'm wearing like jeggings. This is one of those tank tops from Old Navy that I've kind of wore underneath everything this summer and I love this cardigan. This is so comfy. I think I'm gonna get some more, some more colors of this. It's actually really soft. Okay, so this was a win. This was absolutely a win. I will link this down below and it's super cute and super comfy. Okay, let's go get the groceries. Okay, so I just picked up my groceries and they just do like a contact list pickup. You like do everything on the app and they check you in and everything and I just open up the back with a button up here and they actually encourage you not to get out of the car, although I do see people get out of their car sometimes, but they have like signs up and stuff that say do not get out of your car because they're trying to keep everyone like six feet apart so anyhow um i'm gonna go home and unload the groceries and do a quick grocery haul okay get all this inside i'm gonna work on getting everything unpacked and put here on the counter to do a quick grocery haul okay so on to the grocery haul for the week so this is going to be our grocery haul for the first week of december and kind of the things to get us through the week so we do eat primarily most of our meals breakfast lunch and dinner at home so this is everything for the week basically and then down here we also have some bubbly grapefruit which my husband likes and then i'll show this since we're doing kind of a vlog today as well hopefully you guys are enjoying a vlogmas vlog with the grocery haul but we got this shower curtain. We put this on the grocery order to hang it up. It's a tension rod and we needed this to hang on the inside window in our bathroom to kind of cover the light one because there's our neighbor has like a really bright exterior light. So to help cover that light a little bit and also when people are taking baths, it will add a bit of privacy. It's just like a glass block window. So I will share that. My husband's gonna work on putting that up while I'm doing dinner. So those two things are from the grocery haul and that one's a bit abnormal. But for the meals and food for the week, we have Go-Go Squeeze. The girls really love Go-Go Squeeze. There's Gimme Five, Apple Peach, and Apple and Apple. My husband's salad. There's some Grand's biscuits, um, either just to make or to put in the biscuit chicken thing that I've shared a few different times. We're kind of on that kick right now. A number of yogurts for my husband. He eats these a few times a day as a snack. Bubble fruits, the kids really, really love these. And I've shown these before. It's got like the bubble stuff in them. We got pear berry pomegranate and peach strawberry lemonade. Also some mandarin oranges, just a little fruit thing um, for them to have. Uh, canned chicken and some mushroom stems and pieces. Some frozen two vitamins. The kids like these vitamins. I need a paper towels. I need to get over to Costco. I haven't had a chance to get over there yet. And Target has been out of paper towels. So I need paper towels. Um, and I, I like actually need them. I'm not like trying to hoard them. I actually need them. We're running low on them. So I put them on the grocery hoarder and we actually were able to get those. So that's good. Some eggs and egg whites. We use these a lot for cooking and I also eat eggs for breakfast. So we use a lot of these this time of year. The animal smoothies. Um, this was a substitution, but it's the strawberry kiwi and strawberry flavors. Some hippies for my husband. Some almond milk. This is a substitution, but it's fine. It's just a different brand. Margarita pizza. We This is also a substitution. We have the California Pizza Kitchen, but this should be very, very similar. Um, crunchy granola bars for my husband, a couple lactose-free milks, just with the kids drink, some bananas, and then also um, Morning Star Farm sausage, egg and cheese sandwiches. Natalie's actually the one that likes these, and this is veggie meat. It's not like real meat. Um, same with these veggie sausage links. She also, she really likes this like veggie meat, so those are both for her. I got a bunch of marshmallows. Um... I think I put frozen marshmallows on there, but apparently we got llama and cactus marshmallows that are flavored, so that should be interesting. But <laughs> these are supposed to be for um, Swiss Mix, which I actually put K-Cups and the regular packets on there, and they were out of the packets. So at least I still had the K-Cups on there, so we can use those. Frosted shredder wheat, some pancake mix, um, granola bars. The kids and my husband have been eating those lately. Veggie chips. Some hash rounds. We've been having those with some different things lately. 
um, some bold Chex Mix, Party Mix. It just seemed like a kind of fun thing to do this time of year. And then also a number of juices and another syrup for pancakes because I make those a lot on the weekends. And penguins apparently barking at something. So that is our grocery haul for today. And I will share us putting up this um, curtain. The curtain is from Amazon and it's already in our bathroom, but I'll share what this looks like with the curtain rod up so you can see what that looks like. Kind of a little bonus vlog there. And hopefully you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far. Let me know if you have any video requests down below. And I'm just excited about doing more videos. It's just a wonderful time of year for it. So I'm gonna bring this into the bathroom for my husband to have. And so this is the window that we are needing to cover up. And I'm actually gonna get some new towels to put over there. Um, because it's just, you know, kind of, they, they actually had those when they staged the house and like they just left them for us because they were just staging towels. But, um, so this window, it's luckily not on the business side of our neighbor's house, like, you know, but we did discover that it's a little bit more translucent. <laughs> at nighttime than we originally thought it was. So we thought it would be good to put up a curtain and just for a little bit of privacy. So we are gonna stick this hopefully inside. My husband's gonna stick it on the interior to hold up the curtain that I got from Amazon. And this is the panel that I got. I've had these before, it's a tie panel. Um, so it works really well when you have kind of an unusual space or you wanna be like changing the length that the curtain is. And it re works really well when you're gonna have one curtain because I didn't wanna put like a set of curtains over here. It wasn't, you know, it's not really for decorative purposes. It literally is for privacy purposes. So this is supposed to be a privacy-ish tie-up panel. So I'm gonna open it up and we can see what it looks like. So it's got kind of like this medallion print, which I really like. Um, and so the idea is just to kind of brighten up the room a little bit. And also the shower curtain that I've put over here, I think probably since the last time that I've showed, I don't really show this area of our house very much. Um, it's got kind of that medallion print and it weaves in kind of like the beige with the blue, with the gray, with the, so, we don't want to deal with painting because neither of us want to do it and we don't want to hire someone to do it during the middle of the pandemic and we just really honestly don't want to deal with it. I'm just being completely honest, we just don't want to deal with it because um, we got it priced out before we moved in but we could not get painters in here before we moved in and then when you want your stuff painted when you have giant furniture, it is a massive pain because you have to move everything and it's just, it's huge pain. We don't want to deal with it and we don't want to have workers in the house and we don't have to right now. So we're just trying to deal with our lovely kind of, I don't know, this has a color. It's like, you know, it's kind of like the builder's beige, but everyone in our neighborhood has this like sand color, whatever this is, on their walls. <clears throat> so we're trying to just work with it. Um, and I don't really know that I want to paint on my walls gray anyways, because you know, like that's just a trend and it's gonna be gone here soon enough. But I do really like medallion print and I've always loved like medallion print. So I thought that the white, would kind of hopefully, you know, be kind of give us some privacy, but also um, brighten up this room a little bit. Cause that is the only thing with like having all this brown is like it gets really dark really quickly. Anyhow, um, I will share this whenever he puts this up and let you see what it looks like and hopefully we like that. Didn't you hard at work? Do you want it like all the way up? Or? Yeah, I think all the way up would be good. That should be good. I think that's good. Is that weird or is that okay? No, it looks good. I just gotta tie it up then. Thank you. So if I tie it up, I may just lower it just a smidge. I mean, because they're privacy glass blocks. So this just kind of covers like the silhouette, but Obviously still this leaves a little bit uncovered, so I made it lower just a little bit, but I, I love the way that it looks. Um, and it kind of goes with this whole idea over here. So, and then I'm gonna change these towels out. The towels at target.com are on sale, so I think I'm just gonna get some blue ones that are kind of like along these same lines to kind of just put staging towels up here in the colors that we typically have in our bathrooms. So anyhow, that is the curtain, and I'm just gonna kind of fiddle around with trying to see what length I want it at here. Okay, I let it down a little bit, and I think I'm just gonna let it stay like that and see what we think. So that is 
it for our evening. Hopefully you guys enjoy coming along and thanks for stopping by our Vlogmas vlogs. I'm really enjoying Vlogmas so far and I hope you are too. We'll have more Vlogmas vlogs coming your way very soon and thanks for watching. Have a very great day.